See, when you do clownery, the clownery comes back to bite. I'm going to the emergency room to get my fingernail cut off. My whole entire natural nail is hanging out of my finger. It is so crowded. I want breast guys, the orchata. Toss it in the blouse. Okay. 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 Special thanks to Nutrafol for sponsoring this video. So it is 8.51 in the morning. I just dropped Zaya off at school and I came straight over here to the beauty supply store to get some hair dye because that is the first thing that I wanted to do today is actually dye my hair. But um, like I said, it's not even 9 a.m. and I realized that the store does not open until 10 a.m. So I think I'm gonna go get some coffee and some breakfast and I guess go back home and maybe think a little bit deeper about what color I wanna dye my hair because this is kind of an impulsive hair dyeing moment but I think I want to like look up some more tutorials look up some more inspo pics anyway and just make double sure of like what color I want to go with I'm a little annoyed that I came over here and they're not open kind of throwing off my schedule I was trying to stick to today but that's okay we are gonna get some breakfast we're gonna go home <laughs> Okay, back home now. I watched some YouTube videos, looked at my, not my Pinterest board, but I have like on Instagram, I have my little saved folders where I save inspo. I feel like I get better inspo for everything, whether it's fashion, hair, makeup, home decor. I find better inspo on Instagram versus Pinterest. Anyways, I checked hair inspo, saved folder on Instagram. I watched some YouTube videos and I am now 100% sure that I do indeed want to dye my hair, drum roll, please black <laughs> just plain black so just for reference um we are half natural color half platinum blonde right now my roots are grown out well not it's not really half and half bougie every time i start recording here he come i have been rocking this blonde look for a long time i usually switch up my hair pretty often i feel like me just rocking the blonde finger waves for this long is like a new world record for me as far as like just wearing the same hairstyle for such a long period of time. So I'm just getting like tired of it and bored of it and I just want like a dramatic change. What's more dramatic than going from the lightest color to the darkest color? I mean, it's not like super dramatic for me because my natural hair color is pretty dark. I mean, my natural hair color is not black. It's like a dark dusty brown. Yeah, let's put the hat back on because <laughs> Anywho, I'm kind of irritated with myself now because I realized that I could really just use box dye for this. It's really not that big of a deal. I think box dye will do the trick. My hair is so short that it kind of doesn't really need to be so like professionally done and get the best of the best products. It's like, it's this much hair. So do you really need to use the best of the best products if it's just this much hair and if you're just gonna end up, you know, growing it out and cutting it off within a few weeks anyway? Um, so I'm kind of irritated because I was trying to go to the beauty supply store to get the real dye, like not box dye, but like actual dye. Like, what is that called? What's, what's it called when it's not box dye? Tube dye? <laughs> um, I was gonna get the real dye and developer and everything, but like I said, they weren't open yet, except there was a Walmart right across the street that was open that I could have just got box dye from. So I kind of wish I would have just went in the Walmart while I was over there and just got the box dye and just did that because that's really all I need. I know that I need to dye my hair red first and then put the black over it because when you're blonde, that's how you have to do it. So I just need a red box dye and a black box dye and I think that'll be good enough. So I guess I'm going to go back out <laughs> and go back over there and go get the dye and then we will embark on this journey together. Okay, maybe I will go back to the beauty supply store and actually get the real professional dye and not use box dye. I know when I said like, oh, I'll just use box dye like a second ago, I'm sure there was hairdressers watching at home like, no, please, even if your hair is short, like why use box dye? And after watching a few more videos, oh, it's so dark this way. After watching a few more videos, I'm kind of like, uh, okay, maybe I'll just do it the right way just to do it. It probably will give like a slightly better just like color result. Like I wanna make sure it's gonna be nice and rich and deep and like black 
like either super super dark brown or black like I'll be fine with either one but I just don't want it to look like I don't know I watched a few more videos and when you do it with box dye it just comes out looking like I don't know how to explain it like dusty like dull it just doesn't have like the richness to it like professional dye does and I don't want my hair to look dusty so I think I'm actually going to do it the right way Okay, so I'm back from the store. I have my hair dyeing shirt on. I got a dark red semi-permanent hair dye to do the first step, which is filling your hair. Because when you go from blonde to black, you have to fill it with like a red or an orange color first. So I got that. And then I just got a regular neutral permanent um, black hair dye. So semi-permanent, which means you don't have to mix it. You just apply it straight on first and then the permanent which I am going to mix with a 20 volume developer. I decided to go the professional, not well this isn't professional because I'm not a professional, but I decided to at least use the professional products instead of box dye. I'm also interested to see how this um, red actually looks just by itself. This is just, it's called dark red and they did not have a little like hair sample to really show. Well, did they? No, they did have a hair sample but the girl at Sally's said that it doesn't actually end up looking like the little hair sample. So anyway, I don't know how this red is gonna look. I'm kind of curious to see how the red is going to look just by itself and if I might wanna just like wear it like that for a little bit and then put the black over it later. I know I want black hair, but I don't know, the red might look cool on its own. It is 12.09 and I have a nail appointment at 2.30. So all this needs to be done and looking some type of decent by about two o'clock so I can go get my nails done and not be looking crazy. So kind of on a bit of a time crunch. The only thing with red hair dye is that it is very like messy, like it stains and it just like gets everywhere. We just need to be careful. I do have gloves. But before we get started dyeing, I wanted to tell you guys about Nutrafol. Nutrafol is a supplement that promotes hair growth that I have been taking for the past month or so. And I wanted to tell you guys about it because I get a lot of questions about my hair and the health of my hair and like how do I manage to do all these different things to my hair all the time and not be bald because I keep my hair cut so short it takes you know a few months for it to grow out and then anything you know this hair that I've bleached or anything that I've done to my hair gets cut off and I pretty much start fresh with a fresh head of hair every few months or so so it kind of doesn't really matter what I do to my hair because it grows out and it gets cut off so quickly. But the only way that I'm able to like rely on that technique is knowing that my hair is growing at a pretty fast rate. So it's just a supplement like this. I added that into my vitamin routine. I take it along with all my other vitamins that I take daily. So yeah, overall incorporating products like Nutrafol into my hair health routine just helps give me more confidence to experiment more with my hair, whether that be different hair cuts or different hair colors. I know that my hair is always gonna be growing, it's always gonna be healthy, so I can do more things to it. And if I end up doing something to it that I don't love, I don't have to worry too much because I know it's not gonna be too long before it grows out and I can basically start over. And what I like about this one specifically is that there are no artificial additives, so there are no risks, there are no side effects. It just has natural ingredients that are clinically shown to improve hair growth and reduce shedding and things like that. And it's not marketed as some sort of like crazy, like just take this pill and overnight you're gonna have like long hair. Like it's like, it's a natural supplement that within three to six months you are going to see these results. It's trusted by over 3000 doctors. It has won awards and things like that. So it's just like a really uh, legit trusted supplement that like I said, it's natural. It doesn't have any additives. It's nothing gimmicky about it. Um, they're not promising overnight results, which is always a red flag for me with anything like this. So if you guys wanna join me on this hair health journey and save $50 when buying three months of subscription, which would be a three month supply, which is gonna set you up for consistency and ultimately success with this product, then hurry up because this is a limited offer. All you have to do is click the link below to save $50 when buying three months of subscription. Also, I had really bad postpartum shedding, which is after pregnancy, your hair basically falls out. A lot of people 
experience that after they give birth and I definitely had that like it was right here in my temples in this kind of like triangular shape right here I was almost like completely bald right there after I had Zaya and that kind of continues to be a little bit of a problem area for me I don't know if y'all can tell it kind of is like a little bit thinner and a little bit patchy like right here around my temples and like my hairline is like a little bit <laughs> receding right there so I always try to just like I said incorporate hair growth things into my routine just to help with like that area as well let's go ahead and slap some dye on our heads <laughs> and my hair is honestly like too short to even like section I guess I'll brush it out at least but I'm really just gonna literally pour this directly onto my head because like I said, you don't need to mix it with anything, so. Oh, I should make a TikTok. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I took some time to record some like beginning clips of a few different TikToks. <laughs> so now I can get started. I'm literally going to pour this on my head. Here we go. <laughs> and rub it in. Oh, wow. It's very red. I didn't put nothing on my hairline to protect my skin from getting stained either. I should have put Vaseline or something. Oh well. This part really doesn't need to be perfect because I wasn't planning on wearing my hair red. This is just to fill in the blonde so that the black comes out more like dark and rich. So I'm not too worried about it, but. See, when you do clownery, the clownery comes back to bite or something like that. <laughs> Was that Monique? Who said that? Oh, I already know. My, I just feel my skin getting stained already. Oh, I should have put Vaseline. I know like nail polish remover, <laughs> although that's like not a good thing to put on your skin. Usually gets it off. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna wear my hair in this red color. I thought I might wanna like wear it for a few days, but I don't think I like this red on me. <laughs> and also I think when I rinse it, it's gonna be like lighter. We'll see when I rinse it out. Raise your hand if my hair dyeing videos give you anxiety. As much of a Virgo perfectionist that I am, you think that I would be more careful. <laughs> but like I said, you don't need to be careful when it's just an inch of hair that you're gonna regrow in like two seconds anyway. Everything is temporary pretty much when it comes to my hair. I think that's good. I kinda wanna like comb it through a little bit. Just to make sure. It's giving cherry Kool-Aid. Giving very much raspberry. Okay, now I have to let this sit for about 30 minutes and we will be right back. Okay, so <laughs> this is the red, and just as I suspected, ooh, it dyed my scalp pretty bad. It is definitely dark red, and it looks very hardcore. <laughs> Punk rock. <laughs> not the vibe, not, not, not the look I was going for, um, clearly, but I thought, well, 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 hold on. It definitely looks very punk rock with it all like spiked up like this, but I'm curious to see like if I did like my normal finger waves like I mean maybe I could kind of pull it off it's not too far off from that other red hair color I had at one point but no no yeah no I don't think I want to wear the red like I could with the right makeup with the right outfit I probably could but no I think we're just gonna move forward with the black I'm gonna take a picture to send to Rel and Daisha so they're gonna think that I dyed my hair red to match them. Ooh, wow, it is so red. Yeah, no, this is not the vibe. So I need to hurry up and just put the black dye over it. Um, this you do have to mix with the developer and everything. It is 1.30. <laughs> My nail appointment is at 2.30. So I'm like, please, <laughs> I gotta hurry up. It's a one to two ratio, one part color to two parts developer. So this is two ounces, so I need four ounces of developer. Let me actually measure that first. That's a lot of developer. That's a lot. I don't need this much. Oh well. Actually no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do like half. Two ounces of developer and half of this tube of color, which would be one ounce. Oh, need to open it first. Black dye. 
without spilling it, I'm going to mix this together and speedily apply this all over my hair because I have to let this sit for at least 30 minutes as well. And I really only have 30 minutes left <laughs> before I need to leave. So I'm basically going to let this sit, rinse it out and run to the nail shop to make my appointment. The struggle. This was the only time that I could get my nails done and I need my nails done so freaking bad if you haven't already noticed i'm missing two nails and they're super grown out and with me just rinsing my hair out they got stained so this is my only chance to get them done if i don't make this appointment today i am going to be screwed i have like content to film and i don't want my hands looking like this in the content and also i didn't even mention this yet but i am going on a little trip this weekend which will also be part of this vlog so stay tuned keep watching i'll leave it as a surprise so you have to keep watching the vlog <laughs> okay it's mixed Lord, I hope this turns out. It didn't really stain my face too, too bad, but it definitely did a little bit in my neck. Here we go. I'm gonna just kind of saturate the hair and then put gloves on and really like rub it in. Oh crap, I was supposed to dry my hair first. It was towel dry. Let me dry this part a little bit more. I towel dried it pretty good. I saw where they said like the color works best if your hair is completely dry. So I, I meant to blow dry my hair first. Dang, I forgot that part. Oh well, it's probably fine. The red is like coming off into the black. Maybe that's why they said you need to dry your hair. Oopsie daisies. What is this long piece of hair right here? Ew. All right. Gonna work it in, work it in, work it in purple, but the hair itself is definitely looking black. Hope it doesn't come out purple. The way I'm scrubbing this into my scalp is the reason why my scalp is going to be so stained, but it'll wash out eventually, hopefully. I don't think I've ever dyed my actual hair jet black. I don't think so. I've worn jet black wigs before, never dyed my actual hair black. So this is a first for me, actually. Okay, no more blonde. It might be purple, but let's hope it's not. Good thing about having black hair is that it instantly looks thicker and richer and healthier. Kind of covers up any dryness that you might have or like camouflages it. And with it kind of staining my scalp, it's gonna kind of fill in some of those thinning areas that I do have around my temples right here. I just hope it doesn't stain like in a really embarrassing way. <laughs> I need to actually like try to wipe some of that off. Okay, I will check back after I rinse this out. Gotta go. So I literally rinsed out my hair, threw a hat on, sneak peek, <laughs> and had to throw a new set of clothes on and literally run out the door. I'm actually running about five minutes late. Luckily my nail tech is very cool and understanding. I'm about to pull up right now, get these nails done here's the before stay tuned for the after and also stay tuned to see what my hair actually looks like i think when i get back from doing my nails i'm going to actually like style my hair put some makeup on do like a real final reveal also because i have to finish the tiktok that i started and i want to have like a fully glam moment at the end so yeah i'm actually probably gonna finish my nails right in time to pick up zaya from school so nails pick up zaya go home do my hair do my makeup and then we will see all right y'all so i got my nails done i can show y'all a better look in a second obviously just picked up zaya from school and i'm actually heading over here to a goodwill donation center because i had maya load up my car this morning or this afternoon with all the stuff that has been sitting in my garage for a hot minute now i always just like periodically gather stuff from around the house whether it's like clothes shoes household items that i don't need anymore like just toys random stuff like i periodically go through and find stuff that needs to be donated but I've just been like piling it up in the garage instead of actually taking it to the donation center. And so it's been a few months <laughs> that this stuff has just been piling up and taking up space in the garage. So these are my nails. I just got a simple almond shape with a 
V-shaped French, and I actually got my toes done too with like matching pink and white simple French on my toes. I don't normally get my fingers and my toes matching, but it felt right today. I just wanted something simple. Well, I did a good deed by donating a bunch of stuff and I haven't eaten since breakfast and it's 5.30, so I think I deserve some sushi. So I just pulled up to this sushi place. I haven't tried this place before. I hope it's good. I'm just gonna get something to go. I feel like I deserve some sushi. Okay, per, they brought it out to the car. Shall we do a little car mukbang? Little soy sauce? Crispy chicken and rice for Zaya. They did have a kid's meal. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna be more pieces than this, but this is probably just as much as I need anyway. I got a roll called mango tango, and then a shrimp tempura roll. I don't know which one this is. Cheers. I don't taste any mango, it's good though. Okay, let me taste this one then. <coughs> This is the mango tango. She's mangoing and tangoing. There's little pieces of mango on the inside. Mm. Mm -hmm. Both very good. For my first time trying this place and just picking two random things off the menu, I picked some good things. Uh-oh, how's your chicken? Good. Here's the big reveal. <laughs> Um, clearly I look crazy right now. I look like some sort of anime character. I always look like an anime character halfway through the process. But here's the color, it's very much black. Very much jet black. And surprisingly my scalp is not as stained as I thought it would be, so that's good. My face didn't really get stained either. So that's a win, but yes, I have black hair. So now I need to give myself a bit of a haircut just like this longer part in the back down here. I like to keep that tapered down a little bit more and then like clean up the little excess hairs around the back. I cut the top shorter last time I cut my hair, so I might just leave it how it is on top, but just kind of clean up the sides. And then I want to finger wave it, you know, style it. I think I'm even going to put makeup on. Like I said earlier, I really kind of don't feel like doing that because it's seven o'clock at night now and I've already had a full day of shenanigans, but I do want to film the like grand reveal of my TikTok that I was filming of the hair transformation. So I kind of feel like, especially because my skin is doing so bad right now, it's giving very much Accutane round two. It would look a lot better to do the final reveal with makeup on. So I guess I'll do my hair and makeup just to make a TikTok. I'll check back in with you probably in like two hours. Okay, so here's the thing y'all, it is the next day. It's like already like six o'clock. I didn't even vlog today at all. I didn't realize until this morning that after I finished styling my hair, I put makeup on, did the whole thing. I never recorded the freaking final reveal clip for the vlog. I didn't get any footage or pictures or anything. I did make TikToks. By the time you guys are watching this vlog, you guys will definitely have already seen like the TikToks and like other pictures and other content. So it's not gonna even be a big reveal because you guys mostly, if you follow me on other social media platforms, will have already seen it anyway. But yeah, so we're back with the hat today because my hair is all messed up again, like as far as just being like bedhead and stuff. And it just doesn't like, okay, my hair is black. We get it, okay, it's black. And it came out very black, very much Sharpie. It's giving goth, it's giving black. I was worried that it was gonna come out kind of like ashy or dull or patchy or not like deep enough and rich enough. And it definitely did not do that. It definitely came out very, very dark, very, very black. I actually feel like it's too black, if I'm being quite honest, just like on my current skin tone. If I do a little fake tan, I think that'll definitely help. And I'm definitely planning on doing that, but it's very, black against my skin tone and so I'm actually kind of excited for it to fade a little bit. I know it's gonna fade, but I like it so far. It definitely looks a lot better when I have full makeup on everything and I know it's gonna look better with a tan. The thing about rocking a short haircut, I can easily look like a little boy. And so I look like a little boy right now, but with full glam, I do like it. So that's good. Anywho, I got some packages. I picked up Zaya from school. I really kind of don't feel well. I don't know if you can hear it in my nasal passages really wasn't feeling too good today still not feeling too good i already feel like i need to go take a covid test just to be safe i feel like it's not covid i feel like it's 
probably just a sinus infection just because I'm only having sinus symptoms. No cough, no fever, no nothing else. So I don't think that it's the Rona, but I do feel like I need to take a test just to be safe, especially before traveling and stuff like that. Also, Bougie scratched the crap out of me today on accident. He got scared, something fell down while I was holding him and he got really startled and like, panicked and went like this and like scratched me up. Today has just been a day, not feeling too hot. Didn't really, I wasn't very productive, but it's like the end of the day now. And I've been ordering stuff for this trip that I'm about to go on this weekend, but also for my birthday trip in September. Just trying to like pre-plan ahead for that. These two things from Jaded London. And then I got two pairs of shoes and a dress from Sydney London. Ooh, cute. I got these shoes. They're like little white heels with like a snake skin type texture. I have some other heels like that that really hurt. Hopefully these are kind of comfortable. I got a pedicure too when I got my nails done. So the toes are fresh. Skin might be kind of ashy, so don't look at that. Okay, not too bad. I like these, I think these are good. And then I got another almost identical pair. These are the same shape, like the same strap, same square toe heel and everything, but it's like a neoprene, softer, like stretchier material and obviously brown, and this is like stretchy. So here are the brown ones on foot. I really like these ones. These are a little bit more comfortable than the white ones just because it's like a softer, stretchier material I like. It is Thursday morning. I look like a wet sewer rat. <laughs> I just got out of the shower. I was in there scrubbing my hair with shampoo because I felt like I just still had so much excess dye in my hair. Like my hair was so like sharpy black and kind of just felt like it had dye in it. And also because I was rushing so much when I rinse the dye out, I probably like didn't rinse it out all the way. So I literally saved some examples for you. This is the first time I just shampooed my hair this morning. Look how dark the soap came out of my hair, like dark purple. Then I rinsed it, shampooed it again. Then I rinsed it, shampooed it again. And then I just gave up after that. But that just goes to show you like, <laughs> why my hair is so dark right now. And I don't know why it's coming out purple. I'm guessing because I had the red base and then maybe the black had a lot of like blue in it. And so it mixed together and made purple. I think it might've helped a little bit. We'll see once I style it and dry it and everything. I mean, I don't, it's not that I dislike it. I don't think it's bad. I just think it's really, really dark, like unnaturally dark. So I know I'm gonna like it better once it starts to fade and just looks more like a natural black color. All right, so we still haven't left for school yet because I wanted to stop and see if I could book a rapid COVID test because I am feeling a little bit, like I'm not feeling too, I don't have a fever. I don't have a cough. I don't have a sore throat. I don't have chills, I don't have muscle aches, I don't have like all those symptoms. I just have congestion and just like sinus pressure. So I don't feel like I'm sick sick like that. I think I just have a little bit of like a sinus infection or something like that. But just to be safe since I am supposed to be traveling this weekend, I wanted to do a COVID test just in case. So I just spent the past 30 minutes searching every single facility in my city to see if anybody had appointments available. And luckily at the last minute, I found one for today. So I gotta go drop Zaya off at school first and then go to this appointment. And um, hopefully I'll get my results within 24 hours or less so that I can just have that peace of mind before traveling this weekend. Just dropped Zaya off at school. Now I'm heading to Starbucks <laughs> once again. <laughs> I don't normally go more than once a week, but I'm really wanting a sausage cheddar sandwich, no cheddar. And so I'm gonna grab that real quick for breakfast before I head over to my wax appointment. I'm having deja vu right now because I feel like I just recently did a vlog where I was like getting coffee and going to my wax appointment. <laughs> I do the same things every few weeks. I'm on the same routine. I feel like sometimes my vlogs get a little bit repetitive because of that but that's real life shout out to starbucks locations that have a drive-through can't remember the last time i actually stepped inside of starbucks Good morning can i do a sausage cheddar sandwich with no cheese oh hey raven hey good morning, good morning. can morning. i also do a grande iced chai latte with oat milk yeah and let me add a pump of vanilla to that all 
Thanks. Ow. I'm going to the emergency room to get my fingernail cut off. <laughs> but I have food on the way. Can you get it from the door and bring it in? <laughs> Fingernail? Yes, my whole fingernail is hanging on by a thread from the base, like the part that connects it underneath the skin is hanging out. What? Your food? What? But I have food being delivered probably in like the next 20, 30 minutes and they're gonna leave it outside the front door. So I need you to bring it inside. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna show it because I think it's too graphic for most people. My fingernail is hanging on by a thread. Not by a thread. It's hanging on by half of the root of the nail where it grows out from the base. Like at the base of your cuticle, your nail comes from like down here and it comes out the skin and it grows up. But it's like connected down here at the cuticle underneath your skin. There's like a root to it. I don't know what it's called. That got ripped out mostly. I don't know what just happened. I literally was laying in bed, got done ordering my lunch, gonna get out the bed, so I just like went like this, so you know how you push yourself up to, to sit up and get out the bed. And like, I have broken a nail before by like pushing down on the mattress and like my nail kind of like pushes down too hard and it like cracks like upwards. Like it kind of goes like and it breaks. I broken a nail, like the tip of my nail before doing that. Not like this though. And the thing is, I didn't even do it hard. I didn't even hear a big crunch or a big crack or anything. It was just like a little bit of pressure, like pushing my nail down into the mattress. I thought to myself, oop, almost just broke my nail, but I didn't because I didn't hear a crack until I looked down at the nail and I was like, well, the acrylic nail is not broken, but my whole entire natural nail is hanging out of my finger. Never in my life have did I ever think I would ever see my fingernail look like, I can see the root of my fingernail that is normally underneath my skin is now out of my skin. And the whole entire, it just came off in one clean, like, whoop, like it looks like my natural nail is a press on nail. It's hard to explain without showing you. I don't want to show it because that's too much to be showing y'all. Just know my nail is detached almost completely and it's in a way where like I can't like really cut it. I don't feel comfortable trying to remove it or cut it off myself. It feels like it needs to be surgically removed. I know I can't just leave it hanging like this because that's gonna be mm. So long story short, I'm going to urgent care, like the minor emergency room right now. I thought about just going to the nail shop like the girl who does my nails to see if she could cut it off. But I'm like, eh, this is probably more of a medical personnel type job. So I am driving myself to the emergency room <laughs> to get the rest of my fingernail removed because it's almost already completely removed anyway. Craziest thing about it, I can't feel it. It doesn't hurt. It didn't hurt when it happened. That's why I didn't think anything of it until I looked at it. If I wouldn't have looked down at my hand, I literally would not have known until I touched something and felt it hanging off. It doesn't hurt, I can't feel it. It only just now started to sting a little bit on the part where it's still attached and it's only bleeding a little bit. But you would think it would be gushing blood. You, th you would think it would hurt so bad based on like the fact that it's completely detached. <laughs> but I don't know if it's just shock factor or adrenaline or what, but I can't feel it. I also don't know if that's like a bad thing. Like I've lost permanent feeling in the tip of my finger now. These are the dangers of wearing long acrylic nails. I've been wearing long acrylic nails for probably almost like 10 years. I've been wearing nothing but long acrylic nails nonstop back to back to back. <laughs> okay, now I can't reach my camera to get it. Today is just a catastrophe. Hello. Um, like I was saying, I've been wearing these long acrylic nails like back to back nonstop for like 10 years straight. I've definitely broken a lot of nails. I've had a lot of nasty breaks that are like deep down into the natural nail. Nothing like this. Nothing like where my whole entire nail comes off. It's a risk that you take when you get these long nails. You are risking your natural nail, compromising the health of your natural fingernails. And I know that but I'm just addicted <laughs> to my long acrylic nails. I feel so weird when I don't have them on. I feel like I can't do anything. Like people always ask me like, how do you do anything with those long nails? I can't do anything without them. For the brief time periods that I had to have them off, I feel like I can't do anything with these little nubs. Like I need my nails. It's not a healthy addiction. And today is just another example of why it's not a healthy addiction and why I probably need to stop getting these nails. It's nothing on my nail tech 
though because she's doing her job but there's only so much you can do at the end of the day you can still break your nails at the end of the day no matter how good your nail tech is this can still happen so I'm mad because I literally just got my nails done yesterday that's what I'm really mad about I literally just got my nails done yesterday I didn't even get to take a pic of the nails I'm gonna have to just take a pic of my other hand and I'm supposed to be going out of town this weekend I'm supposed to be styling and profiling with my new fresh nails didn't even get to enjoy this nail set now my whole fingernails ripped out and it's gonna take like a year for it to grow back <laughs> it's gonna take like a year for it to grow back because it's literally ripped out from the root it has to grow completely back from scratch from scratch I don't even know if it's gonna grow back because sometimes it could get like I know sometimes when this happens it just gets damaged and it like never grows back properly what am I gonna do my middle finger is gonna be <laughs> so ugly I'm gonna have a bandage on it uh, okay, I'm back from the emergency room. Ended up with just a little bandaid on my finger. It looks harmless, right? Um, obviously, I didn't vlog in there. I wasn't able to. But basically, the doctor gave me um, numbing shots on either side of my finger down here and like filled up my whole finger with like the numbing stuff and so my whole entire finger is numb from here to the tip. I know I didn't show you. I took pictures of it. If y'all really want to see, you know, DM me and I'll send it to you privately, but I just feel like I can't put the pictures on here or show y'all. But basically what happened was, okay, so you know how your nail grows up out of your skin like this, like from your cuticle, like this is your cuticle and the nail grows from underneath it, right? The way my nail came off was like this the whole half of the root of it came out and was like hanging out like this. <laughs> so what the doctor did is he went, literally let me show you an example of what he had to use. He used a bigger version of these little, uh, what do you call these? Little pliers, like a bigger version, like more like this size of these little cutters to cut the, um, the tip off so that it would just be this short. And then he used like tweezers to shove it back in <laughs> underneath the skin because he said that that would be the best way for it to heal is to actually like put it back into place and have that be like a placeholder because otherwise if he were to completely remove it which he said he could if i wanted him to but if he were to completely remove it and there was nothing in there then he said sometimes it like heals up and like closes up and then the nail has trouble like coming back out and it never like grows in right so he was like your best chance for it to grow back the right way is to like put it back in the cuticle <laughs> my head is listening <laughs> so like i said so he just like went like this it took him a second though and i normally don't get queasy with blood or anything like that like i'm pretty good when it comes to needles like when he gave me the two shots i was like no problem even just when my nail broke, I kind of was just like, uh, what do I do? But I don't get queasy. But when he was like messing with it, trying to like shove it back in the skin, I started to feel a little bit woozy and I had to look away. I couldn't, I couldn't watch him. And then he basically told me that it's going to heal and kind of grow out and then it's gonna fall out. Like this whole nail that is left on there is gonna completely fall out and like die. And then the new nail is gonna like push it out and then it'll start growing in. But it takes like six months or so for a fingernail to grow back. So he was telling me, he's like, it's gonna take a long time for this to heal and grow back. So he's like, you're gonna have to like keep up with it for quite a while. So I have a Band-Aid holding it down. He told me while it's still numb, I should try to like cut it down even more and like file it down even more just so that it's not sticking out at all. So it doesn't like get caught on anything or lift up or rip out. Um, Yeah, I thought he was gonna have to put like a big wrapping on it, but he said having a Band-Aid is better because with that like big wrapping stuff like i would have to change it multiple times a day with like washing your hands and everything like you can't get it wet so you have to like change it and he's like that would just be like a lot to keep up with so it's better to just have a band-aid and just be careful there's a very low risk of it getting infected because of the fact that he put the nail back in its place something about like having your own biological something in there prevents it from getting infected versus if he would have taken it out then it would have been like an empty hole and then that could have gotten infected so this is what it looks like it doesn't look like much now it literally just looks like a broke a regular broken nail with a band-aid on it but underneath is pretty gnarly it's still numb it feels weird he said the numbness is gonna last for like another hour or so so i need to try actually they didn't have a nail file or anything at the emergency room but he was like ew there's juices coming out of it <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, wait, how am I gonna do this? 
I'm just glad it, it didn't hurt. But I don't know, once the numbing wears off, like, is it gonna start hurting? I hope not. Why is it juicy? What is that? I think I need my electric file. <clears throat> I have this little electric thing from like Walmart. This is barely doing anything. He told me um, I don't need to do anything to it as far as like cleaning it or putting anything on it. He actually said trying to put like hydrogen peroxide or anything on it was like a bad idea, like harmful. Basically just said all I need to worry about is keeping the nail in place because it's literally hanging on by a thread and it needs to like stay in there, like how he put it back in there. So that's gonna be the biggest thing is just making sure I don't like bump it or snag it on anything and just keeping it kind of like taped down so it can stay in place while it heals and it's gonna take a long time to heal that's the annoying part i'm adding an extra band-aid like around it just to stabilize it a little bit more uh it literally looks like i got my finger chopped off okay in the meantime i had just ordered food and it got delivered while i was at the emergency room but maya got it for me and put it in the fridge so i'm just gonna go eat my lunch and then lay down and think about my life choices for a little bit <laughs> It is Friday morning. I'm about to take Zaya to school. They're having a splash day again, which is where they need to wear swimsuits because they're gonna be doing water activities. So that's why she has her swimsuit on. We packed up a towel and a change of clothes for her in her backpack. They don't need to bring lunch because they're doing a pizza party with it. You just need your water bottle. Do you have your water bottle filled up? Is it filled up? Yeah. And then... I need to spray you with sunscreen. I am also making sure that everything is packed up and ready to go for her to spend the weekend at Grammy's house because I live today for Santa Monica. So we've got her little overnight bag here. I already fed Bougie this morning. Zaya has had a little bit of a cough and a runny nose for the past like week or so. She's starting to get better now. It used to be worse and I have been feeling not great. I've been like congested and stuff, but I went and took a COVID test yesterday, a rapid test just to be sure before traveling. I don't feel horrible. I just, I have like some like symptoms. I'm vaccinated, but you know, you can still get COVID when you're vaccinated. And they say that it kind of just feels like a mild cold a lot of times when you're vaccinated, if you get COVID. So I just wanted to be sure before traveling, of course, that I didn't have COVID and I don't. Test came back negative. So I think it's just some sort of just regular common cold that's going around probably at school. She got it and then she gave it to me. So I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit foggy in the head right now, but I am just going to take some medicine before I get on this plane and I should be fine. I slathered myself in a fake tan. I forgot to do it last night, which was not good because I normally like to leave it on overnight to get the full result. So I put it on at like seven o'clock this morning. I have to leave my house at like 11.30. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. That's four hours that I'll be able to let it soak in. Normally I like to let it soak in for eight hours. So I don't know how much it's really gonna take, but I really feel like I need a tan with this black hair or else it doesn't really look as good. It kind of like makes me look really pale. So hopefully my tan will take somewhat. Did I just drop Zaya off at school in my nightgown looking like this? Yes, I did because I didn't want to put clothes on top of my tan that's still trying to dry in my voice sounds horrible oh my gosh just made my signature coffee but i also just realized that today is maya's last day well not really her last day her last physical day because maya is actually moving she is moving away she is not going to be physically here in this city anymore to be able to physically come over to my house and be my assistant and help <coughs> and be my assistant and help with like actually doing things physically. She's still gonna be working for me virtually and being my virtual assistant and she can still do stuff that she can just do like on the computer or whatever. But as far as all the stuff that she's been helping me with like physically, like hands-on stuff, she's not gonna be here anymore. I am literally trying to think 
um, at the last minute if there's like anything that I need her to do today that I can like have her do to kind of, I don't know, help me out since I'm not gonna have her. I'm actually kind of sad about it because I don't have a replacement for her lined up and there's actually a lot of things that she helps me with daily that uh, now I'm just gonna have to do it myself or what, like I don't know. I'm looking at the glam room because I'm like, mm, there's probably stuff in here that needs to be done. I don't know, I didn't prepare for this. I'm not prepared. And then she's just gonna be gone. I know every single time I mention anything about needing help or needing a personal assistant, I get a lot of messages from you guys. Why is my mouth watering like this? Like I'm like drooling. <laughs> I've never had that symptom it's like it feels like because i'm congested that i'm like drooling i don't know <laughs> anyway that's gross i know a lot of times whenever i talk about like needing a personal assistant or needing more help i get a lot of messages from you guys basically saying that you would be willing to do the job you know am i actually hiring you know asking me questions about it and it's just that the hard part about it is hiring a stranger. As much as you guys might tell me, like, I promise I'm not this, I promise I'm that, I promise, you know, I can't necessarily just take your word for it. Of course I can do background checks and stuff like that. Background checks only tell you so much about a person, they don't really tell you about that person's personality and stuff like that. And I don't know, I've tried it in the past, with hiring someone outside the family, it didn't necessarily work out. The best thing that has worked the best is just having my little sister do it because that's my little sister. And this is somebody who's coming into my home every single day from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. every weekday. This person is in my home. And y'all know I'm introverted anyway. Y'all know like how I am. And so it's just hard for me to have like a complete stranger coming and doing that. So with Maya not being able to do it anymore, I'm not gonna rush into hiring a stranger. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm just saying. So don't, don't, message me don't um or if you do message me don't think i'm ignoring you just know that i'm not necessarily hiring right now because i just know i get a lot of messages whenever i bring it up but yeah i'm not i'm not hiring but i am short staffed so <laughs> take that as you will but at the same time you know i have to let my sister go off and do whatever she wants to do for herself i can't keep her trapped here although she wasn't trapped she wasn't here by force okay she was here by choice up until now, she was getting paid adequately. You know, it was a fair deal. It wasn't like I was, you know, forcing her and like turning her into my slave. It was never like that. Don't want to send out that message either. But at the same time, is this her dream job? No. Is this what she wants to do for her whole 20s? No. She wants to live somewhere else. She wants to do other things. I'm just like, okay, just leave me here to die, I guess. <laughs> So fun fact, I have not packed at all. Not one single thing is packed. I don't even actually have a suitcase. Even funner fact, I don't even have a suitcase because my suitcase broke. The wheel like completely popped off and it was in bad shape already and now it's just like it's broken. I can't even use it. And so I only have like this little small carry-on suitcase, like one of these little small ones and that's not gonna be enough. Even for a weekend trip, like, I pack a lot. I'm an overpacker because I like to be prepared. I like to have options. You never know what you're gonna get into. You never know what kind of outfit you're gonna need. So I like to have options and I like to pack like full-sized hair and skincare products sometimes too. So I actually had to ask my mom if I could borrow her suitcase. So Maya is heading over. She comes at 10, it's 9.15 now. I told Maya to bring my mom's suitcase from their house so I can borrow it. So I'm waiting on that. I guess I could at least start getting my stuff together. I'm supposed to leave here at like 11. So I have like two hours-ish, a little less than two hours. I also still have a YouTube video that I need to prepare, like make the thumbnail and stuff like that. Because since I won't like be here on Sunday when it goes up, I need to make sure that it's like ready ahead of time. Luckily, my finger doesn't hurt, surprisingly. I thought it was gonna start hurting really bad when the numbing wore off. Just because of the way that like he had to fix it, it felt like that was gonna hurt afterwards, but it doesn't hurt, I can't feel it. It just looks ugly, but I mean. Okay, just got my mom's suitcase. Um, luckily, hers is also rose gold, so we're still gonna have the aesthetic going. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need my little duffel bag. I have clothes here laid out, my new stuff that I ordered. Luckily, everything fits. I don't know, I think I can just throw some stuff together. I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. I only have one hour left before I need to leave and I still look like this and I'm still not packed, but I just finished setting up my YouTube video. So now I just need to pack, get myself together 
and get out the door. Halloween. <laughs> Here, I did not bring my camera, guys, so y'all get the phone call you for this portion of the vlog. Get what you get and don't throw a fit. of angels hopefully y'all can hear me through this mask and with this iphone quality it's been a while since i've been in lax yes. age landed like 55 hours ago <laughs> so she went ahead to the hotel but the hotel wasn't ready the room wasn't ready yeah so i don't know if she's just been chilling in the lobby or what but we're coming for you age <laughs> okay wait bathroom break before baggage claim my band-aid fell off wait listen listen let me explain. i need a band-aid to hold my fingernail in place because it is not attached at listen, all okay let me explain <laughs> said, i got a band-aid i had this oil in my purse and it spilled all of my purse so it has like oil on it but they clean i mean they have is this still gonna be sticky if see. it's got oil so like this no go the other way uh, Surgery. Quick surgery in the airport bathroom. Quick, no quick procedure. There you yeah, go. that's good. Thanks. Mm, all right. Okay. So I forgot at LAX, the rideshare pickup is like in the next city. Now they have a shuttle for it, supposedly. They didn't have a shuttle last time I was here. You had to walk. But the shuttle not coming. We were waiting. And it didn't seem like it was ever going to come. So we decided to just walk past by a man who said, Ma'am, is your name? <laughs> is your name Tanache? <laughs> I was like, no, <laughs> I am not her. Sorry to disappoint. Does it look like, do I look like? We made it. And look it is. Hello. Great it down. Okay, hotel room tour. I mean, all our stuff is kind of in the way, but it's very cute. Look at the textures and the tones. Brass hardware, modern art, linen wallpaper, beige oak wood. <laughs> We have a nice, beautiful city view of construction. And far away, you can see the ocean. And the pier, the you can see the, the whatchamacallit, way over there. Look, if I zoom in. Oh, the Santa Monica Pier. And you, you get a little that, ocean uh, view back there, behind the, the. What's that thing called? The circle thing. The, the, the merry-go-round. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Ferris wheel? We got a little track, home of the Vikings. <laughs> and a track, home of the Vikings. Beautiful view. Cute mirror, cute bathroom. Wow, modern, updated. My favorite kind of mirror. The marble countertops. Beautiful. Now it's time to get cute and have fun. Look how cute this hotel lobby is, y'all. It's very mid-century modern. Love the color palette. Lots of photo opportunities. I just have to say that I just love the overall color palette of this whole hotel. Look at the marble and the, the teal and the brass. Look at the light fixtures. I'm just feeling very inspired. Aren't you feeling inspired? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> We just came down here to the um, hotel restaurant just to get a quick drink and a bite before we um, oh, wait, that's the drink get ready for the real festivities this. tonight. We're oh, gonna go out to dinner out. somewhere else, but just quick little appetizer or something. Like a little margarita to start off the trip. Some beautiful shrimp tacos. Look how pretty that is. Some bacon guacamole with looks like house-made chips and some very flavorful French fries. Very flavorful. <laughs> Santa Monica, we didn't do anything last night. We literally just We're the finished that booth and came in here and basically went to sleep. But we're ready for the day. Hello. Dressed, glammed, yes. and about to head to brunch. My makeup did not Eight, really come out how I wanted it to, but we're just gonna roll with it. I have all my little jewelries on, no, my nail. Cool. This is my outfit of the day. Okay. Top from Naked Wardrobe, pants from Jaded London, shoes from Simi London, jewelry from Kendra Scott, body by me. <laughs> <laughs> um, me and Deja are kind of on the same vibe a little bit. This is all Zyra, except for the shoes. I don't remember where these are from. We've got, both got white shoes on and like the kind of wide leg pants. Age <laughs> has tie, tie kind of a similar pant moment, but more of a capri style and a white top. You can't see your beautiful face. 
show the face and the hair. Yes, yes. Tasha is here. Oh, yay. Special yay. guest. Yay. 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 <laughs> I got a chai and bottomless, Woo, and I almost just knocked it over, wow. And bottomless mimosas because I couldn't decide. And water, you know, gotta stay try hated. Try hated, gotta stay try hated, hydrated. What did you say? Try hater race. I said, let me taste the chai. I know. I didn't even get to taste it yet. I want to eat it. Eat it. I'm pretty tough by looking at it. It's a little too, too milky. Oh, I would like it stronger, but. It tastes like milk. It's really milky. <laughs> it's sweet enough, but it's just not strong enough. Like, I wanted to raise a toast because I'm just like, look at us. We're just out here traveling, just for fun. Just like, let's just go to LA, let's just go to Santa Monica. Get a nice hotel, treat ourselves to some nice experiences, look cute. We met in college, but we didn't have nothing. Nothing. Rusty, dusty, bro. <laughs> nothing. Working at Auntie Anne. <laughs> Living in a, a hoarder college bedroom. You probably had your life somewhat together in college. <laughs> you probably had your life. But now look at us. We're glamorous. We're successful. We have our own uh, businesses, our own entrepreneurship things that we're doing, period. And we're traveling and we're looking cute while doing it. So cheers. Yes. Cheers to the evolution of drag. <laughs> So we're walking to the liquor store. Shut up! <laughs> First of all, stop saying what I'm saying. Why is it always the bad we're walking to the liquor do. store. We're leaving the yeah, hotel, there's but there's a big old bus right here that got stuck, and they're spinning their wheels and they can't go. Where are we supposed to go? This <laughs> little tiny tow truck is trying to pull this big old bus. It's not doing nothing. Tip top toe. Anyways, here with the squad, going to the liquor store, getting some libations. We were supposed to be going to a wine tasting right now, but we just gonna take a little stroll to the liquor store, have our own wine tasting. Check out, maybe go to the pier real quick, go to the beach. Do me and Daisha and Tasha look like triplets? Smile. Ah, uh, just with a little uh, lipstick. Yeah, just a little bit with more melanin. <laughs> Got some Casamigos yes. and some Jack Daniels to turn up. And the liquor store was right across the street from the beach. So we just decided to come over here. The pier is right, right over here. We folded and we got some churros. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we're about to go to dinner. They got a lot of like little um, agua fresca, the horchata, <laughs> churros, tacos, quesadillas. What'd you get? A, a little small taco. taco. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Derica, say hi to my vlog. I didn't get you in my vlog. I feel like Look, if if y'all are real OGs <laughs> in my channel, y'all remember Derek. The original Derek, you and T. Derek. Derek. OG. If yeah, you're an OG. Jack when Raven was making the door, you and T. DIY shirt, Derek. It's been uh, several Ray, years. Raven, you raised Derek. If you remember Derrica, comment down below because you're a real OG. Because I haven't seen Derrica in years. It's very sad. <laughs> but Derrica is here. And look how cute we oh, all look. Look at Tasha. Yes. Tasha yes. with her blouse. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Okay. <laughs> Show us the thing. Don't Give us a 360. Oh, oh. Give us a. Not you. Hey, just love me. Me. Okay, me. Me. I'll give you a 360. <laughs> Okay, ladies, other ladies, give us a 360. Yes. We're heading to dinner. We're hoping that we can get a table at this one spot that was recommended. If not, we gonna be SOL because we don't have a reservation anywhere we else. Had we had one by day We had a reservation that is for right this moment. Arising 21 minutes. Well, this is my outfit. I'm repeating this outfit that every influencer has worn at this point. I wore this in Puerto Rico, but I didn't get a good picture of it, so I'm hoping to get a better picture tonight with some brown heels. You know, take the photos first and then party later. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> complimentary transportation. Oh, oh, it was just kidding. Not complimentary. Not really <laughs> the the yeah, no, he made it really clear. Oh, so it's okay. like a city. Promise. Complimentary from the city of Santa Monica. These no, no, he didn't. He made it very clear, Raven. 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Complimentary from Neil himself. So we got dropped off in the little same downtown area that we were in earlier. He didn't really quite drop us off where we wanted to be dropped off. So we take it back. It was free, so we can't complain. But we having a walk. The Misfit, that's the other place I was telling you about where you just put your name on the list. Oh, uh, yeah, we need to like have backup plans, probably. Should we go ahead and put our name just yeah. in case? But look at the city lights. Look at us looking cute. <laughs> look at the girls. Oh, yeah, look at us looking cute. <laughs> Sunday brunch at Colt. I ended up having to walk through these shoes. I barely made it. Nashville hot chicken strips, garlic fries, a brioche breakfast sandwich. Beautiful, ooh, knives falling. Beautiful SoCal burger. Really pretty chicken bowl over there and a cute mimosa. So it's later in the afternoon on Sunday now. We're in the little circuit free ride thing again. Squad's here. Tasha's oh, still here. Hi. We have our swimsuits so we're going to the pier for real this time. We kind of walked near it yesterday, but <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna really go over there and you know explore, maybe ride some rides, you know? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, no, you're getting ambitious. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <well>. <laughs> Very much COVID. COVID 2021. We just came down here because we wanted to be able to say we went to the beach. We walked over to the water and almost stepped on a dead bird carcass. And it's so crowded and yucky and stinky over here. Not my type of beach. And I did not even want to put my feet in that water. Dead birds just floating to the shore. No, thank you. Ow, it's so hot. <laughs> The sand is so hot. Y'all live here? <laughs> y'all like this? <laughs> this this where y'all be going to? <laughs> they delayed my flight. She's been getting to the airport. That's all that matters. <laughs> it's 8.30 in the morning. Oh, gotcha. After the night we had. Yeah, I left explanation. I was like, I'm still just going to get over Yeah. Bye. Be safe. It's Monday morning, our last day. Well, we're not even having a full day. We're getting ready to go. We're going to go eat and then head to the airport. It's just me and Daisha now, age already left. Last night, we ended up after everything at this club called Nightingales and Two Chains was there. It was lit. It was your typical lit LA club experience. So that's always a nice change of scenery from what we're used to back home in Austin, definitely. So that was fun. Obviously, you can probably tell by my demeanor in my voice that I am tired. I'm actually kind of ready to go home. Three days in LA is enough for me. You know, I could do a couple days of some turn up, a couple days of high energy, and then I'd just be done. We're all packed up. We're about to go eat and then get to the airport. Thanks again to Nutrafol for sponsoring this video.